What would China score on the Bates Gill scorecard for managing its disagreements with America and America's allies? Um, I think I'd probably have to give it a, a mediocre uh, grade, maybe six out of ten, something like that. Uh, you know, I think we've seen the deterioration of the relationship uh, get worse and worse. Um, I think we can point to some uh, ways that uh, the Chinese side has managed this, which probably could have been a better. Uh, for example, management of so-called wolf warrior diplomacy, uh, the high rhetorical criticism, um, not just of the United States, but sort of of the Western system itself, uh, almost becoming an ideological level of criticism coming from Beijing, which of course you know, does not resonate at all well uh, within Western capitals, let alone uh, in Washington. And just to be fair, since we are at the AIDS conference in Brisbane, the world is not centered around the global north, and any relationship is two ways. What would you give the United States in terms of its execution of managing the relationships from its own side? In a very similar sense to what I just described in Beijing, I think uh, the political atmosphere in Washington uh, has deteriorated in a way that makes it very, very difficult uh, for uh, the Biden administration uh, or others to seek something of a more constructive relationship with China. Uh, but all that said, uh, yes, uh, the United States probably has not done very well, uh, probably six or seven on the Bates Gill uh, scale. Uh, and so there's a lot of improvement uh, for both of these capitals to be working on this relationship and at least doing more to stabilize it. And when you put people out front and center, what's the opportunity and where is that opportunity for the two peoples, young people, older people, and in between, to partner, to work together and to converge their interests for the benefit of everyone? Well, I think given the state of the official relationship between the United States and China right now, uh, it is going to be in people-to-people -people, uh, ties where we can hope to have the greatest sort of progress uh, in understanding uh, between these two great countries. Uh, the number of American students working in China has, has plummeted uh, from, uh, from the highs that it was at uh, in, in 2019 to just the handful of students who are there today. So that's just one example of where a great deal more effort can be made to try and uh, improve and expand people-to-people -people ties. Obviously, being here at the International AIDS Society meeting in Brisbane is one, one great example uh, where uh, peoples of goodwill, scientists, uh, have a lot to learn from one another uh, and not just pushing back the scourge of this particular affliction on humankind, uh, HIV AIDS, uh, but many, many other areas as well. So I'm encouraged uh, to see that kind of cooperation going on right here. Bates Gill from Asia Society. Thank you very much. Thank you, James.